Okay, hello, hello, everybody. Um, today's webinar is going to be a little bit different. We are going to do a walkthrough on the platform, talk a little bit about what is coming for TIAG, and um, hopefully answer some questions on uh, how to get in here and go through all of the content that we're uploading so that you can find everything. And as a light, if you're seeing this video right now, you should be able to see everything that I'm showing you today. So if there's something that I show you today that you you can't see from your profile, then please reach out to me and or my team um, or the Lulu's Garden support team, and we'll get it all sorted out so that you have access to that. Um, to just make sure that everybody's on the same page. There's a lot of things that are moving around in the space inside TIAG. And so it's a really important part of, of the equation that everybody sees all of those things that are moving around. But sometimes bits and pieces can get lost in all the shuffle. So let us know um, so we know that that's happening if it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and screen share here to start this off. So we're going to start by walking through the platform and simultaneously I'll explain what's going on in that space, what I'm showing you, and then um, how we're going to kind of bring all of that together into one full round so that you can understand what TIAG is as far as a community platform goes and what's coming next. And we'll break it down as we go. Let me hit the screen share button here. Okay. All right, so you should be able to see my my mouse here just running around the screen. Can you raise your hand for me if you can see it? Okay, perfect. Okay, so uh, now, so as we're as we're first getting in here, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through this as if I were just fresh to the platform, brand new, I just logged in. Doing this on your computer, you're gonna see something different than if you do this on your phone. Now, from your phone, this menu right here this welcome back menu will not be here. Now I'm logged in as the Haven support team to be able to show you this right now. And so um, it'll say your name there for your login and, and you'll see yourself here with your description of who you are. And you can access all of that from your, your profile settings here. So this is your profile and these are the spaces that you're a member of. So you set all this up when you first log in. And so we don't need to dive into all of that. It'll walk you through there. But what is important is that we understand how to navigate all of this space and be able to find the content that's coming now, what's come past, and what's about to come in. There's a whole bunch of things that are about to be uploaded between September, October, and November of 2013, uh, 2023. Um, a lot of things are coming to the platform, so stay tuned and keep checking back. Now, um, if you're watching this recording after the fact, and it's past those dates, um, there's probably quite a bit more in here. So. Uh, we'll do our best to cover this in a way that it it is um, kind of uh, overarching to to all of the features of TIAG. Now, going through this section here is your kickoff. So this is kind of your onboarding. So you'll have your checkbox here on the side, and then you'll be able to click on the corresponding space. Everything in, in TIAG is broken into spaces. So we're able to, to walk through the different categories, different links, and the different sections inside those spaces based on the cat the the space the secular space that all that content is inside of so right now we're in the home tape the home space under the home cat um, category so this is the official tiag space where um, anything that is coming from headquarters can funnel through and anything that is centralized specifically for all of tiag and kind of all encompassing you'll be able to find it here in the official tiag space now uh, there is some chatter in here and there's some things going on. So I recommend jumping into the chat section here. When you click this and you, it checks it off saying, hey, I've gone ahead and, and checked out that space, interact with it. Don't just come in and you know click through the to go through all the boxes. Actually play full out. I promise you, if you play full out with this platform, it will play full out with you and it'll start to build a, a relationship and a community with those other members that are in the platform with you. So come on in here and say hi. And then um, as you're moving through the rest of this, some of this... Uh, these spaces are full right now. Some of what I'm going to show you today are going to be empty, but you'll be able to navigate through and understand uh, where we're at with the development of the platform in different spaces as you do that. Now, it, when you come to the official space, either on the event section here or in this uh, section here, you'll be able to walk through the available events. Now, over the last uh, three weeks, we've made some plans to launch a couple different programs, and you will see those launched in here. You will see the invites for some of those things. Some of them, if if you're not a member of them, such as the, the Journey program, you are going to have to be uh, invited into that space in order to see them in your events feed. But for the most part, 
this is where you can come in to do that. Now, once you find an event, you come down here and you can RSVP. When the event goes live, you can come down here and Zoom or join on Zoom. And this will give you a little bit of a description of what the event is and who's already RSVP'd for it. Now, it's the same thing. It's kind of redundant for every space. So I'm not going to walk you back through too much as we go through this, but I just want to give you the vision of how it's going and what each space is for going forward from here. So when you click on the next space, I am enrolled with the journey program for my enrollment here for this profile. If you don't see this, I'll just give you a little bit about what this is. Um, the journey program home space is where most of the conversation and the discussion is going to be happening through the journey program. The journey program is based on the concepts of, of uh, permaculture designers and installers going on the journey with you to, while you DIY your project, we're going to be DIYing ours. And we're going to be in live feed in real time with each other, walking through it step by step, sharing what we're doing, how we're tackling problems, what problems are coming up, what we're doing to address those problems, and then just going step by step by step um, with you in this space. Now, there is another level. If you choose to get involved with as a, uh, a higher tier, you can join the Journey Program PDC course. The PDC course, we collaborate with Verge Permaculture out of Canada to be able to bring to you some of the highest level education that I have ever found in the permaculture space. And we do that at a discounted rate for our TIAG members. So if you're a member of the platform and you're watching this recording, that means you're getting a discount on that PDC certification. So that is a three month certification or four month certification process. It does start this, this year, it starts in November. And then we do it again in, in July. Um, and our relationship with the with Verge allows us to uh, connect our members that are interested in a higher level of education with the PDC certification course that Verge offers and then tie it to our journey program. And so while you're taking that high level education course with them, you'll also simultaneously be going through the journey program with all of our community. And there's a lot of synergy here that's going to be happening that while we're while you're learning all the details of a design science, you're also going to be applying them. And so we get some hands-on through the winter months on what programs we use to design, how we're designing, what shapes, sizes. If you're if you're doing it by hand as, a, as an artist, if you're going to be doing it by, uh, by just launching a computer program, a Photoshop, or something as simple as Canva or PowerPoint, we'll walk you through all of those bits and pieces live while you're going through the PDC with Verge. So there's lots of benefits of taking them synergistically like that, and you get a discount for enrolling with the TIAG space here. Now, as you go through the Homestead group by space, every single month we bring in a another surplus item from a, a family business. Now, not always, but most of the time, they are members of TIAG that are providing that surplus back to the TIAG network. So for example, the way that this first started was seeds. So most, a lot of you know uh, my mom, Renee. She is actually the founder of, this, of the seed group by operation and the Home Setting Emergency Preparedness Buying Group on Facebook. And so we decided to partner up, link what we were doing with, with Lulu's Garden and Haven Permaculture and TIAG with what she was doing with homesteading and the seeds. And so now we're able to offer these seeds as her surplus through the group buying network and allow our members to get access to that heirloom seed for a discount and for bulk purchase options, um, and then be a, a part of this whole, whole transaction of this barter and trade that we're starting to establish within the community. And so this is a really big piece because every time that a new member joins a, or becomes a part of this program, like the hives operation that we started in Wyoming, we're able to offer them back to the community in a discounted fashion. Now, this is something that we're only doing in TIAG. It's not something that you can uh, that you that you can find anywhere else. We're networking with a lot of different folks, a lot of different places. And so inside this home setting group by section, you'll be able to see how Lulu's Garden is offering the home setting group buys in the TIAG community. And this is going to be a live feed of the active group buys of the month. You'll see a new update every single week. And then every single month it'll roll over, group buys will close, new group buys will open, and you'll always have the option to get involved with one of those group buys. And so this will happen every single month. There'll be four group buys a month um, at minimum. Now, if you want to host your own group buy, we can actually put that in here for you as well. And you can start to host your own group buy in your TIAG community, in your local neighborhood, your local community, and we'll support you with our international network and surplus. So lots and lots of cool things that can happen in there. 
Um, if you want to learn more about that, connecting here is a great way. You can go into the chat section there. And this is a fairly new, new space, so I'll just say, hello, I am interested in hosting a group by, oh, if I can type. And then we'll see that and we'll say, oh, hey, somebody in there is interested in hosting a group by and somebody will reach out to you um, from the Lulu's Garden support team um, to get involved with that. Now, there are perks, I should mention before I get on from that space, there are perks for hosting group buys, such as getting your own product. Um, if you're an ambassador, you actually get 10% of that group buy payout. So you can actually earn money doing that. Um, lots and lots and lots and lots of benefits of being involved with the Lulu's Garden support team there. So just chime in and, and ask questions and we'll get you helped out. Now, the webinars and recording, the replay section, this is where all of our monthly webinars are uploaded. So sometimes we do webinars with other people and we're, we're given permission from external sources to import them into our community. And so you might see some things from there um, being brought in. For example, Robin Openshaw right here, the green smoothie girl. Um, I did a presentation with her TAF Insider Cryptocurrency Group to talk about closing the loop on a society and to bring permaculture design discussion to the table. And so um, she hosted me as a guest speaker, but then I got permission to bring that webinar into our community. And so you'll see that feed here and you can watch that. Um, then the same thing with each month as we go through other speakers, our, our herbalist, our certified nutritional therapist. Um, today, you were going to hear from uh, Mitch Rolick. He's a climatologist and a PhD in, the, in uh, climatology. And his specialty is all about the climates, the microclimates. Um, but last minute here, we had a change of plans. He was not able to make it. And that's why you're hearing from my beautiful face this morning or this evening <laughs> instead of Mitch. Um, now, this is a cool piece too, because you can come in here and you can you can start to explore all of the past recordings. Now, we're still uploading a lot of these and we have probably two dozen recordings right now that are under edit that will be uploaded to this space over the next three months. Um, we do we try to do one uh, once a month, but because we have, we're so far behind, we're going to be kind of jamming some more in here. So you'll see lots and lots of recordings in here shortly. Um, and then you can go ahead and join the upcoming webinar. So this is this one was last month. We did um, Sun and Bloom Farms founders, um, Lucian Toma, and he came on to talk about water systems in the permaculture design space. And so there's lots of cool stuff to watch and, and go through in the recordings. Now, an upcoming project that we're working on is super, super cool. Um, this is a, a webinar that's come and gone and kind of introducing the concept. But the idea here and what we're trying to bring um, to fruition within the platform is we have a 20-year beekeeper that has originated from the Rockies and moves out here to where we live in the Midwest. And I met him out in my area, and he started to introduced me to some of the concepts that he was involved with. Now, simultaneously, I was serving in a in our local uh, church out here and helping families with beekeeping. And he proposed the idea that we start to uh, learn from each other and grow in that capacity. And so now, fast forward a year and a half, almost two years, um, we keep bees in insulated horizontal beehives. And he's transitioned from traditional beekeeping into natural beekeeping and started to partner up with us. And so we're putting together some really incredible courses and content for you. Um, and hopefully down the line, be able to make him available as a consultant for all of our communities. We really wanna see a beehive in every home. I think it's just such, a, such an incredible piece of the puzzle when you can bring beekeeping into the game. So you can go into this micro learning tab here on the left side panel, go down to micro learning and you'll see beekeeping. Coming soon is what it says now because it's not quite there yet, but you'll watch that webinar and then you'll be able to see material coming and going through here as we introduce more of that um, and build this out. Now, this is something a lot of people are really excited about. Keeping bees in insulated horizontal hives is by far the most superior method to date. Um, I have not found a, a alternative method that allows bees to be fully invested in their health under a beekeeper's care like it is in in insulated horizontal hives and and horizontal hives as a whole um, is is widely used outside of America outside of the United States particularly um, in a really broad way and so for the United States and and most of North America really to be focusing on the Langstroth which is the vertical hives 
it actually comes from a really crazy backstory. And we talk about that here in this space. And so there's lots of cool things to understand, lots of pros and cons about different methods of doing things. And we're not there to judge or demand that you do anything a particular way, but we don't use chemicals. Tyag is not about um, pesticides and herbicides and, and you know traditional agriculture and rototilling and and degenerative practices. We're here in this community to learn how to rise above that and step out of sustainability and move further and go into a regenerative space. And so the things that we're doing here and the things we're doing inside of the, the TIAG platform, the beekeeping spaces, whatever it may be, all of this is based around the idea of regenerative, natural, holistic approaches. So this is a super, super cool um, option here that's coming soon to TIAG. Now, this webinar here um, was done by one of our, um, our, I'm not so sure what we're gonna be doing with him in the future, but a, a past geothermal greenhouse engineer that did a webinar with us, came on as a guest speaker. He is designing um, one of our client greenhouses for Haven Permaculture up in Alton, Utah area, and just lots of experience in the geothermal greenhouse space. And so he came on and did a webinar um, to discuss that. So as you're going through this checklist here, it's gonna introduce you to some of the activity that's been happening inside the space. Now, as we go forward, um, a lot of the time we'll find a resource that we just love and we wanna share with everybody. We're not affiliated with it in any way. We don't get compensation in any way, but we really just want people to know that it exists. It's an incredible thing. And so you'll find that on the left-hand pane down here under external resources, inside the digital resource library tab. So the external resources tab is all about good works of the world that are happening all around us that um, we may or may not have anything to do with that we just wanted our community to know about. So that's a good place to go and find information. Now, uh, when we come into TIAG right off the bat, the first thing that you're gonna be introducing yourself to is the concepts that we're discussing here. And it's gonna be, uh, it might be a shock to you, it might be really familiar to you, but we are a gardening community as a root, but our four pillars are actually fall in, in alignment with the permaculture paradigm, the regenerative paradigm. So our approach is food, water, shelter, and surplus. So we are we are a community that owns and operates the source of our own food, our clean water, and the source of that water, and the the surplus piece of this whole equation kind of ties it all together. So a lot of times when people get to the the shelter piece of that, food, water, shelter, and surplus, um, the shelter piece can kind of tie us up on, oh, there's too much money, I'm grid tied, there's uh, legal re regulations and all these things. And so we address that issue in the TIAG space um, appropriately. But we want to address all those top three, food, water, and shelter, in a way that allows us to get to the surplus piece. The surplus piece is where we're producing enough for our communities to dive into a regenerative approach on our lands in so much of a way that we're able to produce more than we need on our lands and be able to give back in a big, big way. And so giving back to the community, our way of doing that is the digital resource library. So you'll see things coming in here that are going to help you produce a surplus on your property, help you to secure energy efficient shelter models, um, introduce yourself to permaculture design technologies and different facets of the of the topics that we're exploring. Now, all of this is something that is in development. And so if you're seeing this video now, it means that you have introduced yourself to this in an, in an early bird phase, in the beta phase. Now, when we're moving this into... Um, deeper waters and continuing into this, we're, we have professionals curating material for us. So if you ask a question and you want it answered, we can put that together on our end in the background with our resources and apply our mentors to it and put that here in the digital resource library, not just for you, but for everybody to learn from. Because chances are, if you have a question, everybody has that same question. And so a lot of other people are going to be wondering the same thing. And so we want to make it available to the community here. And so this is where you can get a lot of those things. Now, as you keep going down the checklist, it's gonna start introducing you to your space. So I have Missouri listed on the space right now as a um, as an example space, but you're gonna to wanna to select your home space. So it's gonna show you Missouri because that's where we founded the organization and that's where Lulu's Garden was rooted out of. And you're gonna be able to come in here and just explore, hey, here's some of the things that are going on. Um, if there's any active events, there's not today. And then just explore um, some of the activity that's been happening. 
when you come into the USA communities on your left-hand panel again, um, you're going to start to see the national chat. And the national chat ties everybody in the United States into one chat section. And this is where you can reach everybody. And then you can also see what's going on around different platforms, different states. Um, and then just have the central communication hub. But let's say that you're uh, somebody in Idaho. So you're going to come into the Idaho space. And this is these are new spaces we just added. We did 27 um, different communities have started up over the last year. And so we're slowly adding in their spaces and bringing them into this equation as more members in their community locally grab hold of this idea of regenerative sustainable communities um, and join into the platform. And so you'll start to see folks getting in here and, and introducing themselves. And then your opportunity now is to get yourself in there and choose your state. If you don't see it, come into the national chat and say, hey, I don't see my space yet listed yet. Is there any way that we could get Connecticut put on here, you know, or whatever it may be. Um, I believe we're going to be putting Florida on next. Now, um, now when you're going through the, the space here and you start to see bits and pieces of it coming together, if there's anything in here that you see that you have questions about that no longer works, understand that we are updating the spaces. So some of this is uh, Dropbox material. So this is a free Mullen class from our certified herbalist and nutritional um, healthcare practice or holistic healthcare practitioner, um, Danielle and Renee. And both of them put together this herbal education for a Molin herb that deep dives on the material and um, medicinal uses of the Molin plant, which we use in our guilds also as a dynamic accumulator. And so I know that uh, if I clicked on this right now, it wouldn't take us there because I recently moved the file myself. Um, but a lot of time our team is in the background shifting the file streams. And so you'll see this update and then it may not work one day and then all of a sudden it'll work the next day. And that's just because we're in the mode of compiling this database in a different format. Um, see like this one here is a broken link. So um, if there's something that you're really excited about and you see it and, you're, and we're not getting to it as fast as you want us to, um, you can go into the directory chat here as well and throw out out there, hey, I'd like, I'd like to see this resource moved on a little bit faster. Can we get that in there? And we'll focus on it because you asked us to. We want to give you what, what you want. So if there's something that, that you are eager about, let us know what it is and we'll we'll focus our attention on that for you. Now, when you're in here creating your your profile, be descriptive in, in, in who you are. Tell people all about you and what you're interested in because our goal with TIAG is to connect physical, real-world communities in the real neighborhood that you live in. And so, yes, this is a digital space. It's a hub for everybody to come together and unify. And this is where we're centralizing the purpose and the mission and the vision. But our goal is real-world application. We're doing things in real world. We're, we're actually going into family backyards. We're actually putting shovels in the ground. We're actually bringing communities into homes and neighborhoods and getting this all together so that we can develop closed loop communities and self-sufficient economies and bring this all into the playing field where families are self-sufficient and where communities are independent. And, and we, I mean, what that means to me is that we own our food, water, shelter, and surplus. And so if you're here and you say, hey, I'm really interested in beekeeping, somebody else in the same state as you comes in and says, hey, actually, I'm really interested in beekeeping as well. And I see that you're a member of my community here. Um, and so I am I would love to be able to say um, you know, hi to you one day about my beehive. I've got some in the backyard if you want to come check it out. So this is a good communication hub for you to introduce yourself to your neighbors and have, have some like-minded interests. Now, um, the platform we're using is Mighty Networks, and there is a lot of different networks on the Mighty Networks platform. And so until we are to the, to the point where the membership is strong enough that we can develop our own app out of this and, and move it into a, a, a web-based platform, you're, you'll download the Mighty Networks app right here, and that will allow you to log into our platform and to join our community. And Mighty Networks is an incredible organization with a good vision behind it. And so um, we're centralized there for now. And in the future time, when, when the membership is to the point that we can justify it, we'll put the expenses into creating and developing an app for the TIA community. For now, downloading this app here will allow you to get notifications on your own time from your cell phone, um, not have to be on the desktop. Now, I do, I do recommend doing a lot of things on the desktop regardless because the desktop is so much better than the app right now. 
Um, the Mighty Networks app, I have a couple corals with it myself, um, one of them being how hard it is just to chat really fast. And so we do have Telegram chats for that um, to supplement that issue. Um, but that is something that that I'm aware of. And so downloading the app will help you out with everything else, but try to get on here into the computer when you can. Now, the introducing yourself pace uh, is important on your profile, but also take a minute to jump in to the home space and come in here and make a post and say, hello, everybody. And just tell just tell the world that you made it here and just just share with us what it is that you're doing, what you're all about. Um, tell us a little bit about who you are and where you're from and start interacting because that's how you're going to have the best experience. As you note, as you're, you're seeing everything that's happening in TIAG, you're going to start realizing there's a lot of buzz. And so you can turn off the notifications and get notified in different capacities. So I recommend that you spend some time here in the notification section and, and read it all because there's lots of different things that are happening in here. Um, and you'll want to be notified for some things that are important to you and other things won't be of, of interest and just constantly make your phone go off. So um, pay attention there. And then go ahead and find somebody in the community that you want to follow. You can come up here and you can follow me and you'll see the activity that I am performing on the page, um, different things that I'm interested in, and um, you'll be able to network with me directly in that way. Now, there is a lot of different people on the community. And so when you're coming in here and you're and you're going to start looking for, for people that are around um, similar interests or similar places, the easiest way to do that is to go into your local hub and go into, let's say, Missouri, go into members and then find out who's local to you. And then you come in here. There's going to be members in different places that are in there that aren't local to you um, that just wanted to be in that space. And that's fine. Um, but try to do it that way on, on a space basis. And then you can go ahead and follow. So I'm just going to follow Joel. He's a cool guy. Um, he just came to one of our webinar for one of our live events the other day here in Missouri. Now, uh, as you're moving around, you're seeing more content. Um, you see something, you go, oh, that's interesting. Stop and comment on that directly. Um, just say, hey, glad we made it. Um, you know, just, just drop a comment so that we know that you're here and we, you're interacting with us and we'll interact with you. And then you'll just go through the checklist. Cheering something just means simply throwing a heart on it, saying, hey, that's pretty cool. Um, and then starting a chat. Um, this is an important piece because a lot of people are are interested in what you're interested in. And so uh, let's say, for example, hey, everyone, I want to talk about rain catch. Who's working on rain catchment and gravity? fed chicken coop watering systems in their personal family haven. And let's see what people say down the road, right? And you'll get notifications notification saying, hey, somebody replied to you in there. And then you'll be able to start to talk about things that are actually important to you um, and get some good, valuable feedback from similar people. Now, this is kind of a cool piece. When you recommend people to join the TIA community, you have three different tiers that you can um, participate in. So you can simply copy that link and share it all over your networks on your social medias, your email list, or whatever it may be. Or you can input some emails here and, and send them the directly that way with your own personalized message or the default one. But the tiers offer you different perks. So bronze, refer to members to get an extra 10% off of all products, which means by default, as a TIAG member, you're getting 10% off of all Lulu's Garden products. If you refer to members, then we'll give you a one-time use code to get 20% off in total um, at lulusgarden.shop. So that's any product that we offer in group buys. Now, silver, you get referred 10 members to get a food forest planting list for your neighborhood. So that means that we're going to apply one of our designers to you and say, hey, she lives or he lives right here. Let's have you zero in on their location and look at their microclimate, under, understand their watershed, um, call their local extension offices, go through all the research and find out what specific plants we want to recommend for their neighborhood. And then they'll zero in on that for you. And that is to support you in a big way, but also everybody that you referred to come on that's in your neighborhood. And so you'll all be able to participate with that planting list. And that's super, super cool. That's a great way for you to bridge the gap between um, knowing that that all-encompassing umbrella of permaculture and then actually having some applicable steps like, hey, what fruit trees do I put in the ground? <laughs> Can I do that right now? Um, you know, different things like that. The gold tier is really, really nice. This is where we're, we're trying to give back. So if you reach 25 referrals, you'll get a free permaculture design 
up to $1,600, $1,597 in value. So we'll basically pay that out of pocket for you getting members to join this um, this vision of and our platform here. And our goal ultimately is that you're, you're referring local members so that you're building a physical real world tie community in your neighborhood. So if you're sending the link out all over the place, that's totally fine. It will, it will still qualify you. It's all automatic. So it doesn't really matter where they're joining from. But just so you know, I would like to see you focus on neighborhood local um, resources and people and individuals and try to really build up your area. And we will support you in that all the way. So now we finished the checklist. And we're all done, we're 100% in, and now we're thinking, okay, well, great, well, what do we do next? So you have a couple options. You can go back to the left panel here and just start digging through the thing that you wanted to see the most. Um, the other piece of this is start to explore areas that are not covered in the checklist. So just giving you a quick recap here and, and a, a little bit of a deeper exploration and some of the things we didn't talk about. The home category is the central communication for TIAG. That's really the TIAG community right here. The TIAG home space and the webinars. Everything else below that is, is extra stuff that we're bringing together for you and for your, your loved ones and your communities. The Journey Program tier brings in the PDC course or the monthly subscription to a Journey Program membership where you're going to be able to walk through the journey with us and in real time design your property right beside us. The Group Buys brings together the surplus side of the community, allows us all to barter and trade in group drops um, from one community to another. The Haven Permaculture side of all of this as um, Haven Permaculture and Lulu's Garden are two secular organizations that both partner with the TIAG community. Now, Haven Permaculture provides permaculture design education and services, and Lulu's Garden provides us all some surplus navigation and group buys. And so uh, the Haven Permaculture space, you'll see in here um, different content that Haven Permaculture is publishing around the web some freebies in here once in a while they'll drop and then every so often we'll be able to uh, represent some designs that are being done in this space and uh, you'll start to see a portfolio build in here now the mentors coalition is really cool the mentors coalition is our way of bringing families together to a collective vision of making the world a better place we just want to make positive change in the world so people that are also in that mindset of simply using our time and our energy and our resources to make positive change in the world, we're going to bring everybody together into this tie into the Mentors Coalition. By joining the Mentors Coalition, there are some requirements, and there, this is a program. And you may or may not see this in your side, but um, if you end up getting involved with this, there's two things that, that you need to know about. Number one is it is a, a coalition for positive change. And so this is a subscription service, and the money used the and, and accrued through the subscription provides funds for the mentors coalition to produce uh tmc projects the mentors coalition projects and so these are projects like hey today we're going to build a food forest for a family in the middle of nowhere just because we want to so let's choose the most impactful place and state that we can do it in then we'll go out into the country um, or into canada or into new mexico or wherever it may be and we'll say hey here's a community that we really want to support they're really moving fast and I know that this one particular family here can't afford the program, so why don't we go ahead and do it for them? And we'll we'll provide a permaculture design, and maybe we'll we'll bring in the installers, and we'll renovate your food for us and install it all right there with you. We'll provide the, the gap. We'll bridge the gap, okay? Another piece of that is we will bring in some, uh, in the interim, and um, between doing different things, we'll bring in some education for free, um, start to support local communities in a big way. Another piece of that is that uh, the grand vision is we would like to host large scale events as a community and bring people together in the form of mentorship in order to unite the good works of the world and bring families into a unified place where we can all give and take and receive in this uh, kind of a, a synergistic atmosphere, um, presentations, um, uh, Okay, uh, some of you are probably aware of the Healing Energies Conventions down in Salt Lake City or Kirk Duncan. Um, atmosphere is much like that, where we'll bring together in powerful, impactful and powerful changes that we can introduce into the communities um, and bring people to those. So this is just some some surface level things here. I don't want to get too deep into the into the Mentors Coalition, but this is a big vision that we've had for a long time. And so there's a lot of things that, that are tied to that, that also tied to the rest of this. You'll see a lot of personal development talk in here, self-mastery, family education, homeschooling, different things like that. Now, the initiatives that we're joining onto, there's a few here that are not listed yet, um, but the idea behind the initiatives is that we want to support you. We want to support your initiatives. And so why don't we 
um, basically formulate ways where families can get involved and make positive change on their own. And they, uh, the vision here is you take the initiative. You stand up and speak out. It's not for us to tell you to, to go outside and plant a tree. We're going we're gonna to help you learn how to, to make change in your life and provide you with the resources, but it's up to you to stand up, go outside and do it. I can't, make, I can't move your feet for you. So we want families to take the initiative and to get on board. Um, the Mentors Coalition is one thing, but this is a whole nother level. This is where we can unite thousands of individuals through the collective ideas and visions of initiatives in your local area or, or in our international networks in order to bring about powerful, impactful action steps. I'm a strong believer in the power of collaborative, educated action. And so this is where we like to see all of that applied by you. You're applying it. And we're going to accept certain initiatives in here that have not been listed and then list our own as well that we want to see brought into the world. So I'll tell you about these two here. The Ambassadors Initiative is our way of giving back to families that are supporting us. So if you enroll with the Ambassadors Program, every two weeks, we will provide for you a free training. We'll have ambassador meetings and you'll understand how to be a mentor and how to train other families in your area. We'll, talk, we'll teach you about marketing and, and funnels and different ways of getting the, the message out there. Um, while also using your personal links, your personal coupon codes, and getting a commission back on everything that you sell. Some of the, the kickbacks are up to four or $500. And so just one referral will allow you to start funding the process of building and developing and installing your own food forest. So the ambassadors program is built around the idea of you help us and we're going to pay you and you're going to then be able to use the education we're giving you. So you don't have to go get a second job to create your homestead. You just got to keep talking about your homestead and families are going to feel that passion from you. And they're going to say, how are you doing that? And you say, Hey, actually um, there's this incredible group Tyag that is bringing together families that are just like me that all want to do the same thing. And we are going to, we're, we're spreading the word. If you'd like to know more, I can send, I can connect you right now. And as an ambassador, you get them connected and boom, there you go. They, you just start to, to pave the way for your family's financial ability to take steps that you couldn't take before. Um, now there's also, if, if the financial kickback is not something that you're really motivated for, there's also free training and community in this space. And so the things that are happening inside here are happening to uh, for those individual, to and for to um, those individuals that are willing to speak up and make a change in their community. And so if you're, we call you a change maker, if you're a change maker, then this is a space for you to be able to get involved with other change makers, makers other people that are taking the initiative. Now, this is a new space. Um, the Haven Initiative is a project where we're going to be focusing on those four pillars, food, water, shelter, and surplus, and we're going to create an automated walkthrough for you. So this is a plug and play. Hey, here's the most basic fundamental things you need to do in order to secure food, water, shelter, and surplus on your property. And as soon as you step into that space and you start to walk through this process, um, you'll start to go through the 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 automated drip feed of content that you'll get inside the Haven Initiative. And the Haven Initiative is really cool because it's based in the concepts of, of um, permaculture. It's based in the concepts of closing the loop. So you can click on the main uh, description up top here and then come up here and click on this video. And this video here will walk you through, oh, well, you might have to go to the actual YouTube channel. You can click on the YouTube there. I'll fix that. <laughs> um, but this video here will walk you through what the closed loop barter and trade community vision is for TIAG and how um, those four pillars of a haven provide a stronghold for the family. A haven is a safe place that ports or shores, ships in the ocean can come away from to port at the at the shore and escape the storms. It's a place of refuge and safety. And so we believe that the the home, the family home, is a safe haven from the world. And we want to help you make that a reality, not by having you not by bringing you a bunch of food and having you grow a bunch of food, but by having you own the source of your food, your water, your shelter, and your surplus. So we're going to help you get there. That's a big piece of this puzzle. Now, the micro learning um, section here, this is where a lot of pieces are being brought uh, together behind the scenes. Now, we're putting together an A to Z program. Um, this is an automated A to Z program. It's going to walk you through how to design and develop a permaculture property. It's going to bring you through all the ins and outs of a permaculture process and the 5SP process um, taught in the PDC to be able to install 
and develop a permaculture property on your own time. So if you don't want to be a in part of the journey program, it's just a one-time purchase to be involved in this course. This course is really cool because it's all, it's all digital. It's all automated. And so it's something that you can, if you're not going to get live feed mentor interaction, unless you're in the journey program. Um, but the, the one-time once off payment is really what a lot of people need. And so being able to do that just once and get all this content, I don't have the price offhand for right now. Uh, with me right now, but the idea here is the same as the as the journey program, just without so much of a side by side journey. It's your personal journey in this program. You're gonna you're gonna build out your permaculture property, and you're gonna go through those steps and and enjoy this on your own time. This is how we developed Lulu's Garden. It was me and my wife. We decided, hey, it's time for us to do something different, and we did. And it was just our journey personally. Nobody was there riding the journey with us. Um, so it's not quite like the journey program, but it's very, it's very much more independent, but it's a very powerful um, program and, and course there. So then in the micro learning section, you'll also be able to see the beekeeping. Um, we have some aquaculture courses coming up. We got agroforestry. We're going to do a mushroom cultivation. There's some more things coming. So stay tuned in there. And then of course, back down to the digital resource library, um, which we already talked about there. So I won't dive into that. Now, the USA communities are not the only place. We are an international organization now. So we are into Canada and we are starting in Alberta. Next year, we're probably going to be into British Columbia and uh, come July or June. And um, so if you're in the Canadian space, you can come into here. Right now, we don't have much traffic in the space um, for Canada because we just only had one event. So we just barely broke our international borders this year. So woo -woo, big celebration there. Very cool. Um, and this is now our our way of helping out the the community in Alberta. It's actually southern Alberta, so we will break this down a little bit further, and we'll have spaces in here for um, for the provinces, but then also for for territories. And then we're going to try to get a little bit more local because uh, Canada is pretty spread out between communities, and so we might do it on a city level, um, depending on the scale that people like to grow. So we'll run from there. Now, as you scroll down a little bit further, you're going to hit the end of your your um, your panel over here on the left and these links on the bottom are going to take you to different resources. So we have the TIAG events resource page. Now the TIAG events resource page is a, if it loads, um, is a link tree. It's a, a tree of different links that will connect you to a bunch of different resources across the internet. The Lulu's Garden shop is a um, uh, of course, Lulu's Garden's main website, and this is where you can access all of the cool things that we have coming. I'm just going to give you a quick recap here on some of the things that are coming up for um, for the TIAG vision and mission. So we're developing a tiny home project where we're going to be putting it on a 24-acre parcel in northern Missouri to create the first of three agricultural hubs for the TIAG program. Now, each TIAG program is, uh, and hub is going to be very different in those locales but in this particular area here what we're doing is 10 tiny homes and agroforestry all synergistically with the um with the journey program so you'll be able to watch us build out install and develop this tiny home village on permaculture principles with rain catch and total autonomy on every unit as well as agroforestry surrounding the units there's a lot of really cool things here and i and i'm kind of just skimming the surface here but the idea is that you'll be able to get more information for this over the next three months as i said that there's more content coming and more information being released now haven permaculture is going to take you to the haven permaculture website where you can get design and consultancy education and resources lose garden of course i just showed you that um that link there to the haven um, faith havens hub but lose garden is also the group by space so you can get to that from here um, and then the TIAG YouTube channel. So the YouTube channel is where we put a lot of free content just for families to gather up the different resources. Um, this is where we curate um, just various levels of education. One of the ones I recommend that you watch right off the bat is going to be this one here, How to Permaculture Swales. This is probably our most watched video, and it's also one of the most informative and basic videos uh, that we've ever made. And it was just super, super uh, you know, well done as far as the visual goes. It was a mentor that taught us and we just duplicated his education to teach you. And um, it's a really powerful concept on swales and understanding the basic principles of what they are and how they work. So that's pretty much it. That is the, for now, that is the Independent American Gardener platform. That is the program. That's what we're doing and how we're building it out. 
there's a whole bunch behind the scenes there that I didn't dive into, but I don't want to overwhelm you too much. I just want to give you a little bit of a brief understanding here of how the spaces operate and how you can go about navigating them um, and, and just staying tuned in. Now, one of the important pieces here is this is similar to Facebook and, and many other social medias. You'll have up on the right hand pane, you'll have a notification panel. When you come through here, as you're checking things off and doing different things, you're going to get notified on their progress or um, if something's happening. Say, for example, the ambassadors meeting happened and the recording was uploaded. So you're in that space. So you get notified that that meeting was recorded. So you can go back after watching this one and you can watch that space there. Um, but this notification panel is going to keep you up to date. It's going to keep you up to speed. Now, when you're sharing this and you're and you're reaching these different tiers and you're sharing with families what we're doing inside TIAG and, and spreading the vision, our, our vision ultimately is to help you be successful. And so I, we're not going to keep going through all the, the hoops and the loops and all these things on our own and, and funneling in all this crazy education and stuff. The mentors that are in this space want you to succeed. They're doing it right alongside you. It's in real time. We're all working toward the same goal of self-sufficient communities, regenerative ecosystems, you know, families putting their hands in the dirt, homeschooled education that bring people together in a unity and teach kids real ethical principles. Um, these are the different things that we need to see brought together all in the in the uh, kind of in the in the same fashion as as we grow as humanity in the same ways as we we kind of move forward uh our ladder of progression and our generational steps right we've we got to teach our youth our youth are going to be the ones taking over after us and so we're going to pave the way with the tiag vision and the programs that we're putting out across the the american continent so without further ado i'll let you guys get back to your evening i know that there's some questions involved with all of this and so I'm just going to the, end the recording here, and then we'll go through some of those questions. But I hope that if there's a, a something that is lingering with you that you want to understand and know a little bit further or deep dive on, you'll reach out inside the platform. And let's discuss it, and let's go through it there. And uh, we'll get our mentors involved with you and help you out. This is really a space where, where paid-for services are being given to you for free. So take advantage of that. Reach out. See ya.